this essay is cause and effect. Cause and effect means I'm trying to describe a relationship. When something happens, it causes something else to happen. This is a very typical essay where you're trying to describe a relationship between things. So cause and effect is not that hard because I think we're very used to that logic. Something causes something to happen. The key point to this essay is to make the link between A and B, the cause and the effect, very, very clear. That is sometimes takes some detail and some special attention. So in an essay of cause and effect, the main thing is to explain why something happened. That's the cause. And then what was the result? That's the effect. Thus we have the cause and effect. That's the whole point, right? So in this essay, we're going to begin with an introductory paragraph. And the introductory paragraph will try to describe the situation usually. It may give some background of the situation. If the situation is very complicated, if there's many parts, then this may take two or three paragraphs. But try to get everything into one paragraph. That's really helpful. If the situation is very complex, you may have to break it into different parts. The first thing you need to try to do, though, is first you need to show that the result actually happened. That is, the thing that you're saying is the effect. Does it really exist? Did it really happen? Is it something that's going to happen again? Did it happen many times before? So, for example, just to have a simple example, if you want to say, people playing video games may cause them to be violent or children playing violent video games causes them to be violent. So there's a cause and an effect. The cause is playing violent video games and the effect is violence among young people. In this paragraph at the very beginning, I would first need to show that young people are violent. I could do that by maybe looking at the headlines in the news, looking at some police statistics. And I could say that in the last three years, violence by young people has increased by 20%, something like this. Then later in my essay, I'm going to show what was the cause. But here in the first paragraph, you really need to establish clearly the effect. What is it that happened? Did it really happen? So that is something that you need to make as clear as possible. Something you need to be careful about, however, is that you need to be authoritative, which means you need to speak very clearly as if you're an expert, as if you're really confident. So you want to avoid words like I think or I feel. Those are terrible words to use in an essay like this. I want you to be confident in your writing. Try to avoid saying things like maybe or should be or could be or I think or I feel or kind of. Those kinds of things may be okay when you're speaking to another person in English conversation. But in writing you need to be much more forceful and clear. In formal writing, there's really no way to put things in like, I think, because it's not formal anymore. It's now informal. And then you don't really need to write it, do you? So really try to make that effect very, very clear. And the normal way this is done is we use some numbers from journals, from newspapers. Maybe you can find something from Wikipedia and use that to say, this issue, this effect, this something really exists. It's really happened. Now I'm going to tell you why it happened, what caused it.